it's a real honour to be here leading the Pride March. Last year I became the first serving head of government in the UK to address the Pride Rally. When I got the invitation to lead the march this year, I was uh, very keen to do it. Pride marches are all about celebrating and affirming values that I think are important to many people across the country. Values of tolerance and respect and diversity and love. And I think that's an appropriate thing for me as First Minister to be part of today and I'm very proud to do so. I feel really proud of that. I I think it's a big honour to be asked to be the Grand Marshal of the the Pride March. Uh, It's certainly a grand sounding title but what it meant was leading with young people this march through the streets of Glasgow to celebrate principles of diversity and tolerance and respect. And these are principles that are very important to the LGBTI community but there are principles that have a much broader and deeper resonance as well and you know we live in a world today where in many parts of the world these principles are under threat more so now than they have been in my entire lifetime so as First Minister of Scotland it's important for me to stand up for these principles and values and this march today was a good way of doing that. The Glasgow Pride March I I guess was organised you know before uh, Glasgow uh, before Donald Trump's visit was finalised. I've not refused to meet Donald Trump if the opportunity arises to meet the president I will do that and I'm sure if in the future that opportunity arises we'll have lots to talk about about the close and very important links between our two countries but of course you know in democracies it's also important to be able to focus also on where we perhaps disagree and lots of people disagree with many of the policies of the Trump administration it's not personal it's about policies policies like pulling out of the climate change treaty uh, the treatment of some minorities some of the language about women but also and I think most importantly recently the policy of separating migrant children from their parents. I have to confess to being a wee bit tickled by that. I kind of find it hard to believe though that the President of the United States with all of the big important issues that he has to deal with on a day-to-day basis finds the time to rant about me down the telephone to Theresa May but if it is true I suppose I should take it as a compliment. I have to say I don't spend that much time talking about him